Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Guys, thanks so much for joining me for this review. I have here um, two packs. Well, they're really not fashion packs because one just has the top and the other one's a fashion pack. But I picked these up today when I was in my local Walmart. Um, I They have a lot of them come out. But my local Walmart, there are some others that are just as excited about the Barbie stuff as I am. Because as quick as it gets in, it goes out. I'm not all that excited about collecting all of the new fashion packs. There's only a few of them that I really like. And I do like um, the DC Superhero Girls um, fashion packs a lot. I really like this Holoka one. This Holoka one is my favorite my favorite. I like the color scheme. I like the style. And I like her as a character. I just think that she's um, she's fabulous. And I just like her a lot. I like her style. And then I love Despicable Me. And I love the Minions. So of course I'm going to collect the things that I like with the Minions on them. So I had to pick this up because this was something new in my local Walmart. And um, it was the only one. So I decided that I would pick it up. And I picked it up for $2.94. And then the Holoquin, um, the DC Superhero Pack, this one, um, this one ended up costing me $4.94 plus tax. So, um, I guess it's not bad. You know, you get two pieces, a purse, and a pair of sunglasses. I don't understand why you don't get shoes with these fashion packs, but you don't. You, I, I haven't purchased, I've only purchased a couple of them, but I look at most of them when I'm in the store, and I've, I have yet to see one of these new fashion packs with shoes. But I do have um, a couple of pairs of shoes over here that I pulled out of my closet to try on to see which ones will look best with them. And I have two of my um, favorite Barbies. You know, I have a lot of these Barbies, but some of them are really favorites. Um, this one here, and I don't remember her number. She was Emoji something, and she's one of the older fashionistas. Um, and I like her a lot. Um, she came with the, um, the extra outfits. And um, a, you got a lot of bang for your buck when they used to do them like these. But they don't do them like this this fashionista anymore. And she's, like I said, she's one of my favorites. Um, she's in her original outfit. And I thought she would be one to try out today. And then I have here the Mountain Climber. And I love this doll. I love styling her hair. I mean, she has so much hair. And she is a made-to-move body. So I have a regular curvy body. And then I have a made-to-move body. So that I can see. And so you guys can see how the fashion packs look on these different body types. So I'm going to get these girls out of their outfits that they're wearing. And I'm going to try these um, fashion packs on them. And we'll be right back to check them out. Well, guys, I am very, very pleased with these outfits on these girls. I started off with the Mountain Climber in Harlequin's outfit, and I really, really like it. I think she looks absolutely stunning in this outfit. Let's get her out of this so that we can look at it and talk about it a little bit. Okay, now the outfit came with these fabulous sunglasses that she is wearing. And I think she looks absolutely gorgeous in these um, glasses. I think she looks fabulous. So this is the sunglasses. And they are trimmed across the top in red. And then it also comes with this adorable top here. And I like the top. Again, I love Holoquin's color. Her color scheme and the style of the clothing. And I love it. It has the netting here at the top. And then, of course, it's sleeveless and it's trimmed in red around the sleeves. And then it also has the same trim around the bottom of the top. And then the top Velcros in the back, of course. And then it comes with this adorable skirt. And I just love this skirt. I love it. And the skirt has elastic in the waist. And it has that wide band elastic. And I really like that. And then it also comes with this... Um, silver purse handbag and I really like that handbag. I think that handbag is just cute. I like the um 
the size of it. I like the strap on it and I like the design of it. Now I paired her with these red heels to go back with the red in the dress. I thought that it would be a great touch to um to the outfit. I did have some black shoes, but I just felt that it was a lot of black going on already in the outfit, and I wanted to try some more color to it. So you guys let me know what you think. Do you think girlfriend is really, really got it going on in this um in this outfit? I love it on her. So here up next we have the gorgeous um curvy girl here, one of my favorites. Um I love her hair color. I love her style. I know this review is not about her hair color and style, but like I said, she's one of my favorite um, fashionistas. And I love her glasses. I've never removed them. They still have the plastic and stuff on them. But she is wearing the um, Despicable Me um, tank top, and I really like it on her. And I think this is going to be one of those pieces, guys, that's going to look better on the curvy figure than the regular figure because it was kind of um seems like it's cut kind of big but it fits perfectly on the curvy girl like you want it it velcros in the back and i just love this on her and i just love the minion on the front i just love it i just think it's so cute i love those little minions and then i paired the top with these jeans that belong to the curvy made to move dancer and then she's wearing a pair of the black wedge boots. And I think it looks really, really good together. I couldn't decide if I would put her in tennis shoes or boots. But I think she looks, I think she's a diva. And I think that she looks more fabulous in the boots. So here are the girls in these two packs. Now I want to switch them up. And I want to try the Harlequin outfit on the curvy girl and then put the um, Despicable Me tank on the regular made to move body just so we can see how they each fit on the different body types. Okay guys, alright, just like I thought. Now again, the curvy girl just rocks it. The, the regular body type in the made to move looks really cool also in the Despicable Me t-shirt as well. Um, it fits her looser, but it still looks fabulous on her. She just has more room in it than um, the curvy girl does. I really like it on her as well. I think that she looks gorgeous in it. And this is what it looks like on her. The fit is just a little looser. And then here is what it looks like on in the back. And it Velcros in the back. And then, you know, again, I think it looks fabulous on her. Though I do have to say, I think the curvy girl wore it better. And then I just paired it back with her shorts. Her meat shorts that she came with. These are the shorts that she came with. The mountain climber. And then I decided to pair her. Because she has on these cute denim shorts. I decided to pair her with just a pair of um, plain white tennis shoes. And I think she looks just cute in that. Really cute. I like that on her as well. Can't wait to take some pictures of these girls in these outfits. And then, of course, here's the diva. Here is the diva. Now, let's check her out in Harlequin's outfit. Now, of course, she is the curvy girl. Now, it does fit. Now, because she doesn't have the bendable arms, the little purse is going to keep falling off. But this is what it looks like on her. Now, the top is a little snug but it's very fitted on her but I still think that she looks adorable in it and this is what it looks like in the back it does velcro like it should in the back it just fits her a little snugger and I just love it and I love how the skirt fits on her as well and I love girlfriend in these shoes I think she looks absolutely fabulous I think she pulled this outfit together as well and again, I'm sorry, my vote goes for the curvy girl. I think the curvy girl looked fabulous in both outfits. I think that both girls look good, but I think the fit is better on the curvy girl. And because I don't want to remove her eyeglasses, I just placed the sunglasses on top of her head so that she would have the complete outfit some way, somehow. 
but this is what both of the girls look like in the outfits and I hope that you guys enjoy this review I enjoy doing this review with you guys and if you guys like these kinds of reviews just let me know and I will gladly um, be, would gladly do more I'm always buying fashion packs but I don't always do reviews and stuff on them but I really like this one and I was just curious about it I wanted to see um, how it looked on the different body types and I must say that I'm very pleased with how all the body types seem to work pretty good with these new um, fashion packs so let me know what you guys think. Leave me some feedback below. Which one of these divas did you think wore the outfit the best? Maybe you like both of them in them. Sometimes I am neutral. But again, this time I must go with the curvy girl. I think the curvy girl wore, wore both outfits better. But let me know what you think. Guys, again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I'm Ruby Red's World of Dolls there also. And I will be um, putting some pics of these fabulous girls in these outfits on my Instagram post as well. Guys, don't forget, love what you do. Enjoy what you do. Live life to the fullest, embracing the moments. Continue being fabulous, and I will see you guys in my next review. Have an awesome, fantastic day.